None of these angles are very flattering for me. Unfortunately. What is a flattering angle for you? A flattering angle for me? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I need to put my... Uh... I think if you like turn around and you bend over. <laughs> <laughs> By Colton's request, we got this Famous Dave's, Famous Dave's Signature Spicy Pickle Chips. This is not a sponsored ad. We just love it <laughs> but that much. But if you want to send us more, go ahead. That shit is good. Now, let me tell you. Are you ready to eat? I'm so hungry. Hopefully, I think I'm going to have a triple. Is that an option? Three can burgers or three patties on one burger? Probably three burgers. <laughs> I Honestly, I wouldn't be that so I'd be a little surprised, but not like... You can have three today. burgers. Why? You, I think your original said you only have one. It's very early. We woke up at 2 a.m. and CJ was like, should we just head to Texas now? Because we have a 15 hour drive plus a two hour time change which is about 17 hours. So, we're starting early. Yeah, it's 2.50 2 in the morning. It's very early. Oh, hello there. What a pleasant surprise. We just had our first stop. We got Starbucks and I haven't tried the Impossible breakfast sandwich yet, so I just got that. I'm very loyal to Beyond Meat, but excited to see that Starbucks has some plant-based options. So I'm gonna try that. We are in New Mexico now, so we're making some good progress. We only have, let's see. Nine we hours and 39 minutes. Nine hours. That doesn't sound that bad. Not terrible, but we also lose two hours. So it says we'll get there at six, but we're really get there at 8.30 as of now because it's not counting the time change. We're one hour. Oh, so we'll get there at 7.30? Yeah, yeah 7.30. We just had it such a scare. A, we had a scare. In West Texas, there's about 100 miles without a gas station. And uh, I checked at 70 <laughs> and the closest gas station was like 70 miles away, basically. And so, uh... We made it! Yeah, we were a little scared there for a second. Woo! Now we gotta pick up some time because we lost about 30 minutes because we went from going 80 to 60 to conserve gas. Gas? My Indiana's coming out. <laughs> to conserve gasoline. <laughs> going. Three hours left. Woo! We made it, and oh, it was a very long day. We ordered, of course, noodle soup Ooh. from this place called Sweet Chai, which was like this little, ooh, it's very warm still. Good. This little family on spot. It looks super cute and very yummy. So we're going to eat, and this place is so cute. I'm gonna give you a full tour in the morning. So good. We're gonna go eat. It is the next morning. We went on a little walk, got some matcha, and now I thought I would give you a little tour of the place before we make it too dirty. We kind of already did some damage. But the lighting is so amazing. So you walk in and you can go up the stairs here, or you can come this way. And here we have a little half bath, which CJ is using. Here we have our very own washer and dryer, which is such a perk. And here is where we put all of our stuff. And so we're gonna have to organize this a little bit because we have too much. And we also realize that we have a lot of nice to haves, but this box is going to my sister. That's going to CJ's parents. That's going to my brothers. This is going to my brothers. So it's not that much, but I, I think we figured out that the first few stops, we're gonna have a lot because we're giving a lot of stuff to our families. This is our master, which We've kind of all, obviously it's an Airbnb, so I think they just tried to make the most room out of it. CJ's back. I'm back. Giving a tour. 
Okay, good. Um, I wish this was like centered, but we're just gonna work with it. So I'm sleeping in this bed, CJ's sleeping in this bed. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, we're both sleeping in this bed. So it's cute, it's roomy. Um, does the job and this is our closet. I brought some hangers that way we could hang up some stuff But we don't really have that many clothes to hang up This is my suitcase from Arizona, and it's a lot of like summery stuff. So I'm gonna have to repack that. This is the bathroom so I'm kind of using this which is really nice and The shower is so roomy It's so nice to have a separate bathroom so I get I get to use this one and CJ is using the side bath for now we will go upstairs CJ just brought some lunch what I love about this is all of these windows I will show you I think I need a wider lens that's for certain so when you come up here this is just so pretty you have a velvet couch never knew I needed a velvet couch until now but it's this like rich teal color it's so pretty and then there's no lights on right now this is just all natural light which is amazing um and we also have a kitchen so this is so nice look at this kitchen and i get to work from a chair which is so nice i've been working in the bed for the last like three weeks we have a dishwasher which is very nice and then we have this little area where we brought some of our food that we use often and here is another full bathroom. I think it's so strange to have, I feel like the downstairs bathroom should be a full bath and up here should be a half bath, but it works. It is just so pretty and this is our very own little patio, which I'm just obsessed that we have this. So we ate breakfast out here, probably gonna eat some lunch out here, but it is getting pretty warm, which is just so fun to have. CJ's already eating. Too hungry. <laughs> hungry. It's two o'clock. It is two o'clock. We need to go get groceries, that way we can feel more settled, but thought I'd give you a little tour. Once I get a better lens, this will be so much easier. We got a pork rice bento box. It Girl, looks so yummy. It looks good and delicious. The place was really nice. It was very cute. Very I, cute. I would assume to say. Um, yeah, it's cool. It looks good. It was really easy and fast. Five minutes. I got a salmon garden bento box. I don't know why this is not focusing, but we're just going to work with it. And this looks very yummy. I'm excited to go get some groceries, but also like this looks delicious, so it's okay. Just got back from the grocery store. Figured I'd show you guys what we got. We spent $223 and got a lot of groceries. So it looks like CJ got some beer. I really wanted a snack and these are so delicious. CJ got some too. Then we got some avocados, bananas. CJ got a side of potato salad tonight. We're gonna have a rotisserie chicken. And then we got some carrots, blueberries. I'm excited to try this. This sounds really yummy and we still have that pasta sauce from Trader Joe's that I love, so we'll make that. Tabbouleh and baba ganoush, which are my fave. Also got this kimchi, which is so delicious. I'm gonna put that in all my little salads. I'm super excited to try this. Looks like Harmless Harvest came out with a coconut yogurt. So that should be yummy. I've been on the hunt for this dairy-free plant-based yogurt. It's Kulina, but it's based in Texas and our Whole Foods did not have it. So I'm excited to try this. <laughs> Meats and fish, and of course, Beyond Sausage, which I've missed so much. And we have a whole bunch of veggies, which I'm gonna rinse off right now. And we're gonna cook dinner. But we got a lot of goodies. And you're lighting a candle? Yeah. What scent is little she? Redwoods candle from that's it. I had to get rid of all my candles, but this little Redwoods one from Yosemite, I think it was. It's just really pretty and smells like the forest. This way and make some dinner, but just thought I'd show you guys a little haul. Oh, I also got this. I'm not a huge fan of this protein, but it's the best one I've tried. 
and I really just like forget to eat lunch sometimes when I'm so busy. So I think this will be good because it has like 28 grams of protein. The fridge is organized. It's kind of funky because you can't really open the drawers because this doesn't like, doesn't really open all the way, so we didn't really use the drawers, but it looks so colorful and we have food again. What's the code for our uh, house again over here on 3rd Street? By the time you see, oh no. It'll it will probably, be gone, but maybe. Probably won't be gone. Going on a little walk, it's not very, I don't think this area we're in is very walkable, so I hope next time we get a more walkable area. But pretty little flowers. Watched the car yesterday? It's squeaky clean. CJ went golfing today. Yeah, I just got back from golfing with my friend Cervenka. It was fun. So I was editing our final moving vlog, and in that vlog I had udon. And I am really craving it today, but I couldn't find a spot that has it. Then CJ came home and was like, do you want some like izakaya, which is Japanese? And I'm like, uh, eh, close enough. So and we're they still- have, like, noodles there too. They have ramen, but yeah. we're still on the hunt for the best udon in Austin. And honestly, I don't know that a lot of people do udon well. Yeah. And There's I don't even know a lot of- dedicated udon places yeah. outside of like the West Coast. You can really say so, Francisco, I haven't seen too many. Maybe you just have those spots you can't replace. They they have it. It, they'll have it in New York, so worst case, we'll get it when we go to New York. Okay, three more months. I used to order this like five times a week, so yeah. waiting three months shouldn't be that hard. It should. We're going on our little neighborhood walk, and we'll get dinner. Wow, that dog is always there. Oh, he's chilling. Wow. Well, he's, he's always there. We don't know if he's lost or if he has a home. Okay, how does this work? Do we have a or something? Katsuya and Daimon sake, uh, sake Brewery collaboration. So we're the only ones to actually have this in the uh, in the U.S. right now. Oh, good. It's actually from J Japan. We oh, had uh, awesome. one of our one of our people go over there and, and actually help create this. Stuff. Oh, really? Oh, that's amazing. What part of Japan are they based out of? Uh, Osaka. Oh, cool. turned out to be so much more crazy than we thought. Not even crazy, it was very spontaneous of us though. It ended up being like a six course tasting menu. CJ got the meat option, I got the pescatarian option, and it was so much food. They gave us these little goodie boxes that we haven't opened yet, so wow. CJ's gonna open it, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Okay, well, a little card. Send a postcard. There you go, the hot sauce. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I hope we can take this home. Wow, how cute. That's so that's such a nice touch. And then some little sugar candies. Oh, some sugar candies. Sorry, it was a hit. It's right next to our place. My friend Beltran recommended it. So we were like, let's go. I thought it was gonna be like kind of a casual, nice casual spot, but very really sensory. Good. All five senses were yeah. indulged and we are so full now. We're so full. That's great. Good choice. Yeah, now it's time to relax. Impromptu date night. Probably and I'm going yeah. viral on TikTok. Yeah, so it was kind of a celebration of getting to Austin, starting our nomad life, and Leona going viral. Good night. Good night. You're so cute. CJ just got back with some goods. Show us what you got. I got a little portable monitor because I need two screens to do my work, but there really isn't a lot of room to set up two big screens. I have a big monitor. So yeah, we brought a really big monitor that's not very portable. So we're gonna try this out instead. My friend Stephanie actually recommended it and she uses it to like travel and stuff. So it looks like it folds up and is like the size of a laptop. So we're gonna set it up and show you what it looks like. 
Happy Saturday, guys. It has been seriously such a day. I decided I'm launching my course this week just because I'm getting so many messages and I want to be as helpful as quickly as possible. So we're gonna do like a beta version of the, the Creators Masterclass and we're finishing up all the copy. Good thing I had a lot of the content done already. We just had to figure out like landing page, payment structure, and yeah, I wish we recorded the whole process because we've been working on it since like what, 9 a.m.? Yeah, since we woke up. Right? So, <laughs> CJ, what are you working on over here? Uh, so this is tech support over here. <laughs> We're currently giving the email, the payment email, your domain name. So at leonamarlene.com. When the people get a receipt, it'll say from at leonamarlene.com. Just a little bit more official. And I'm working on, oh, you cannot see this because it's so bright. But I'm working on the flow of the email that is going live. So this is just so crazy. I can't believe we are doing it. We're doing the thing. I feel like my mantra has just been done is better than perfect. And honestly, there's no such thing as a perfect launch. There's never a great time to decide to start a business, launch a brand, launch a product. So why not do it today? That's how I was feeling. I've just like had a lot of the content ready and I just felt really overwhelmed with the process of putting it all together, I guess. So we mapped out the customer flow this morning on different platforms and we've just been creating the necessary content that aligns with the course. It's 9 p.m. on a Saturday, so I'm thinking maybe I'll launch it first thing in the morning. We're gonna go finish this up. Literally been working on it for like 12 hours, but I love that feeling when you're just so excited about something you are creating and it doesn't even feel like work. I just like forget to eat, I forget to move, which isn't probably the healthiest thing, but it's such a cool feeling and it's really exciting. It is 10.30 now and I have not moved. We are about to launch the class. We're working on the subject line and the body of the email. We're heading continue. Also, Flowdesk is the most amazing email platform. It blows MailChimp out of the water. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It's, a lot, it's been a lot of work today. Wow. We're doing it! Come on, just, just continue. Are you sure? Should I yes. read it again? No, keep going. You already read it like 10 You're times. You're the first to hear about it. Alani Page typo this course. If Okay, hold oh, on. Dad wow. just sent a typo. Oh, Literally <laughs> just sent a typo. Let's see if it's real. It is, it's yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my God. All right. Should we proofread this? I think we should do it. Yeah. Haven't you proofread it? We, I, I mean, I think so, but we proofread the other one and we missed it. We're going to proofread one more time, you guys. I'm crazy. We are sending it. Okay, let's do it. This is so crazy. Wow. Oh my Woo! It's Monday. Just realized we haven't vlogged much in this kitchen. It's so bright. CJ is making an aioli because we are out of groceries. We need to go to the grocery store. And I'm making some tuna because it's like the only protein we have in the house. And I don't want it to be dry. So tell us what you're doing here, chef. Uh, so all you gotta do is take an egg, just remove the yolk, so it's like this. So, Ooh, it's looking thick already. So this is the hard part. And then you want me to add that in slowly? I don't, don't really trust your slow. because. Trust me. Okay, just dro droplets. Seriously, like very small. Okay, that's enough, enough. I was trying to. Gosh, yeah, I don't trust your Back. slow. Okay, like two more drops, like drops. Okay, good, good. You don't have to buy mayonnaise now. Well, it's kind of like an aioli more, more so than a main, uh, yeah. mayonnaise. Yeah, I think a mayonnaise is just a type of aioli. Yeah, basically. So we're gonna put some garlic in here and just make it a little flavorful. That way we can use it on sandwiches right. too. Mm -hmm. Beat it, <laughs> beat it. Everyone wants to see you beat it. It's a theme song for okay. aioli making. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, boy. Okay. Can we just stop at rest? No, I would do half. Let's do two more things. I think you can recover that. <sighs> I hope so. 
Okay, I had to stir it. Who recovered it? You recovered it. Look how thick she is. After an egregious error. <laughs> I mean, All right, looking said, good. Look at that. Look, yeah. That's good. Oh, wow. That's really thick. Okay, let's add in some garlic. We We're like garlic, so love garlic. we are throwing in the garlic. Is that like four cloves? Uh, just two, two big ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. We should have a series, cooking in the kitchen. But like the thing is, is we don't have a full-time house, so our kitchen would change every month. Yeah. I guess, that's, some lemon. I guess that's exciting. Yeah. And we never know what, can't even see us. You never know what essentials we're going to have because... Like this, this yeah, we basically air, made this out of necessity because we don't want to buy a whole thing of mayonnaise. You have to be really cautious about the condiments we buy. And then we never know what the Airbnb is going to have already. Like this Airbnb doesn't have a whisk, but this fork is very handy. Very whisk-like. Yeah. Your olive oil. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? It may just be the quality of the olive oil they have here is not. I doubt this is the best olive oil you can find. The last one I made with the- Yeah, we need good olive oil. That's not great olive oil. It's not good. But- It's very like- Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, okay, lesson learned. Make sure you use a good olive oil. Well, we're still gonna use it. I'm gonna top it on my tuna and just stir it in. All right, thanks for cooking with us. Goodbye from the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen and CJ's making the first Austin sourdough and he's making it with 100% whole wheat this time So it's the only flour we had Yeah, so we'll so. see how it turns out. It's very spongy. So it sh seems like it should be okay. Looks good We're gonna let it sit overnight and this is what CJ uses to cover yeah, He to uses a, the a, sh a shower in. cap that we've never used to keep all the, like, the moisture in so our traveling bread basket and shower cap. <laughs> Cover her up, let her marinate overnight. Yep. We'll check her out in the morning. Oh, so I also never told you guys, but I got my biopsy results back and we are good to go. CJ and I actually took out, shouldn't gross anyone out. It's pretty chill. You can't even see it. We took out my stitches by ourselves, which was a little bit scary, <laughs> but it's crazy, There's you can't really tell, it kind of looks like a scab, but there's one of the stitches that are like inside. She did two layers of stitches, so one was like inside, which would self-dissolve, but they haven't dissolved yet, so it's like kind of sticking out, which is funny. But just a little PSA, even in the winter months, wear your sunscreen and think about like when you're driving, you know, your hands are on the steering wheel, they're getting a lot of sun, so just be really mindful about Skin care and sun protection, even in the cooler months, the sun is still, still out to get you. So use SPF every day. Got CJ on the SPF every day kick. Oh yeah. And getting on a skincare routine. How do you like it? It's all right. It's all right. He's not a skincare act yet, but we'll get him there. It's hard to get used to it every day. Can turn off the fan. You want me to turn off the fan? Uh. Let me just take it out. The life of a baker. I don't think we're gonna be cooking bread here again. Too much. Oh my on. gosh. I burnt my finger. Things are going off. She don't look bad. This is our first 100% wheat. wheat bread. It looks a little small. Should be all right. We're gonna try it. Maybe not the best loaf ever, but it'll be, it'll be edible. I just need to show you guys my masterpiece of a salad. I couldn't fit in any, a normal bowl, so I had to put it in here. But just like, never let anyone tell you that salads are not delicious and beautiful and hearty. In here we have fresh live butter lettuce, some kale, strawberries, blueberries, some spiced walnuts, just kidding, spiced pecans, some blue cheese, avocado, and we're gonna add some spicy Italian Beyond Meat momentarily. I just love it. I mean, honestly, I put everything in a bowl. Good clean salads. I am. Y'all, this is good. I'm gonna need to start sharing some recipes because I literally eat a salad at least every day for lunch and it's so filling and I never get bored. All right, we're in the kitchen again. We've been really bad at this vlog. It's kind of all over the place. And we are having some chicken. We just made some roasted chicken, made a, and then I made a little veggie medley with some leftover cabbage and green peppers and rice. 
and then we cook the chicken on a little bit of baby carrots. So per usual, I put everything in a bowl. Well, this isn't focusing, but as you can see, I put everything in a bowl, always. Like every day, every day is a bowl day. So it's a really exciting day here because I think on Saturday in this vlog, we shared that I launched the Creators Masterclass. And guess what happened today? Drum roll. We have two sign-ups. So exciting. We have a lot of interest, but I think I like launched it on a weekend and was like, hey, first class Thursday. So this Thursday class has two sign-ups. So I'm teaching my very first class. I'm really excited to see how it goes. If you are interested in joining, check the link out. I'll put it in the description. Just hit myself in the face. But I'm just really excited about it. It's really cool to have a community you can connect with and learn from. And I just feel really passionate about empowering other creators to recognize their value. I think we, especially as women, always undervalue ourselves and don't recognize our own worth. So hopefully this course empowers other women and girls to go after what's theirs. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Wonderful, sir. <laughs> um, so we're gonna finish eating dinner. I think mm. I've convinced CJ to watch Emily in Paris. Begrudgingly, <laughs> but so, I'll do it. I just need to like, I never really watch TV. I'm not a huge TV person. I actually think it's like a huge waste of time. But CJ told me I need to waste some time today. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna watch the first episode, which is only like 30 minutes and then I'll get to work some more. <laughs> Every time Leona gets to sign up on her course, she gets very excited. Woo! You guys, I Wow, congratulations. Woo! Woo! Happy Thursday. What are we doing? Setting up for your first masterclass. We're setting up for CMC, the Creators Masterclass. So excited, but also kind of nervous because I've been having a little bit of technical difficulties with the presentation. So We'll see how it goes. At the end of the day, it's just a chill conversation and I'm just literally sharing everything I know. Well, as much as I can share in an hour and a half. CJ got me set up, so now I gotta figure out what to do. Good morning. We haven't really left the house too much, but we're on an adventure. CJ's getting a COVID test. I mean, I guess I'm a little nervous now, but I think I feel fine about it. He has a in bachelor general. party this weekend? Next weekend. Next weekend, and they ask that everyone get tested prior. So we are heading to CVS right now to get COVID testing. And then CJ's parents are coming into town today for the weekend. So I don't know what else we'll do, but I figured today would be a good day to vlog. <laughs> If I did that right, I mean, I definitely I went until I felt pressure, and I even got a little watery in my eyes, so I, I feel like, but I definitely didn't like hurt myself. <laughs> you know, like, you kept, yeah, you coughed a little bit, so it must have been like deep. But they look like the they stick it up their way, way. I know, more. I've seen videos, but like, I wasn't gonna go until it like hurt really bad. Yeah, like that's the thing that's like allows so much room for air I because know. people aren't going to would... in, like cause themselves pain. Yeah. All right, well, off to Whole Foods, and then we have to go home clean and do some work. freshly showered because we ran this morning and I realized while I'm editing this vlog that I never signed off so we're gonna end this week's vlog but we had a good weekend with CJ's parents what was the highlight of your weekend uh, the brewery was pretty fun yeah 
That's where we left off. After the brewery, things got kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, we just sat, hang around, and sung on the porch for a long time. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to work over here. You're expecting me to have a lot of energy? It's Monday morning, I'm tired. I'm just trying to get through my emails right now. I have a lot of energy, so I'll talk to you. <clears throat> it, we all came back and just like hung out on the patio, <clears throat> and it was really relaxing, and then Sunday morning, we kind of had a lazy Sunday, went for like a long walk, and then just ate some lunch, and then they left, and we just like cleaned up. CJ went golfing. So it was a good weekend. It was the first weekend in probably over a month that we didn't work. So there's a lot to do this week. So we're gonna catch up on some work and hopefully try a few new restaurants. There is a bug like on the lens and you could just see it. Uh, we're gonna sign off. Thanks for watching another vlog and we'll see you guys next week.